everybody. Um, welcome. If you're listening, we just wanted to talk a little bit about, we did a podcast on spiritual identity and how important it was for healing um, to know who we are in the Lord. And so um, we just wanted to talk just a little bit here um, more in depth about how we can really understand our spiritual identity, um, how we abide with the Lord, how we are attentive to the Lord, because that's how the Lord speaks to us. So Carrie, just want to talk just a little bit about just some tools that we can use to really help us hear from the Lord in uh, about or in around our spiritual identity. Yeah. Um, so these that I'm going to share are just kind of practices that are, are really good to lean into. Um, just again, being aware and abiding with the Lord and hearing from him, because obviously we know how important that is, right? He's the only one that's going to really lead us and guide us and, and share these insights with us. Um, and so it's super important that we're paying attention and our ears are tuned into him. And so these are just some really practical, um, you know, from scripture things that we should be doing, um, to really, you know, be hearing from him. So there are nine of these, and this is from the book practicing the way, and they're called rules of life, um, from this book. So the first one is Sabbath. And it's really just basically how we have to sort of um, go the opposite way that the world is going, um, which is hurry and exhaustion and really um, be faithful in taking a day off from any type of work, you know, whatever that looks like for you, but really being intentional about a Sabbath, a day of rest. The second one is solitude. Um, we know that the world is super noisy um, and there's a lot of anxiety, honestly. And so just really leaning into peace and quiet in that solitude. Typically that would be in the morning, but really any time throughout the day or, or really just probably more than one time a day, hopefully. Um, we've talked about anchors during the day. Um, you would be in solitude. And I know this is what is kind of hard for some people, but um, pray about it, lean into it. I promise uh, once you really uh, feel his presence and just see how much it is so beneficial to us, you really will want it all the time. <laughs> um, third is prayer, obviously, just being in communion with the Lord um, and really trying to just decrease distractions. Um, I think that so often, right, when we sit down to pray, we just think about all these other things, but it's really just that daily practice of leaning in, even though, yes, you might get distracted, right? Just get back on track. And I think it just becomes second nature um, over time as you, as you practice these things daily. Fourth is community and just really going beyond superficial with people to really be vulnerable and, um, be authentic and just, um, have that, um, that safe place within a community to share is really healing. Number five is scripture. Um, we know that, you know, God's word is just the ultimate God. And so really digging into scripture, you know, whether, whatever that looks like for you, um, just taking it outside of, of maybe weekly church service and really either, you know, maybe you start with a book of the Bible. Maybe you just start with a couple verses that you read slowly and um, really digest and ask the Lord what he wants, you know, what he wants to show you through that one verse. Just be in scripture. Six is fasting. Um, and this is one that, you know, it doesn't say if we fast, it says when we fast. So really seeking the Lord on when he says that it's necessary for us to fast. That just looks different for everybody, but it is something that we should practice. Number seven is generosity. And this is just sort of a way for us to obviously do what he commands us to in the Bible, but really to just deny ourselves sometimes, right? So we can be generous to other people. Um, there's just, we live in a culture of consumerism. So this is really going against that and just being generous as he calls us to. Um, number eight is service. And this is just, you know, putting others above ourselves and really looking for um, to fill those needs and, and just is self-denial sometimes. Right. Um, and then nine is a witness, um, to just be a witness for Christ to those that need us. And this is something that obviously will, will look different, you know, for different maybe seasons or times in your life, but, um, we can always shine the light of Christ around us to those in our home, even outside of our home, obviously in our church, our community, so these are just um, some practices that we should be doing some daily, some weekly, you know, some, you know, 
further spread out, but we hope this helps just kind of give you a guide because sometimes it's like, okay, I know these things, but how do I actually lean into them in my daily, you know, weekly life and really make them a practice versus, you know, just, um, something we read about and, and sort of go on about our lives. So we hope this uh, video is helpful for you. We did do a couple of podcasts on these subjects. So we will put that in the, sh the uh, description of this video. If you want to check that out, thanks for joining us.